Hello everyone, welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs, where we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before I move on to the first question, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever a new video comes up, you can be notified about the same. If you want the free PDFs of these sessions, then you can join the Telegram group. The link is in the description below. So we provide all the free PDFs on this very group. Now moving on to the first question. It says, market regulator SEBI has issued an order suspending futures trading in seven agri commodities for a year against the backdrop of increasing inflation. So which of the following com uh, commodities are not a part of these seven agri commodities? So recently, uh, we have seen that the inflation is rising, the rate of inflation is rising a lot. In the last session only, I talked about the CPI levels rising, the WPI levels rising, and a major reason behind the rise is the food inflation. That's the reason why SEBI has taken the decision to suspend the futures trading in certain agricultural commodities. Against what? Against the backdrop of rising prices of these commodities. So let's see what are futures, what do we mean by derivatives, what decision has SEBI taken and why so. Then we'll come back to the question and answer it. So as the question says, seven commodities futures trading has been suspended for a year. Ek saal tak ab in seven commodities ki futures trading nahi hogi. Ye seven commodities kaun si hai? Non basmati paddy, wheat, chana, mustard seeds, soya bean, crude palm oil and moong. So in seven commodities ki ab futures trading nahi hogi. Futures kya hote hai? Futures ek tarah ke derivatives hai. Futures are a type of derivatives. By derivative I mean a contract between parties which derives the value from some underlying asset. So, a asset ko kharidne ka, sell karne ke beech, sell karne ka, parties ke beech agreement hota hai. So, wo jo contract hai, wo uski value kisi underlying asset pe dependent hai. The value of the contract is dependent on some underlying asset. Like, you might enter into a contract to buy or sell certain stocks, certain bonds, certain currencies, certain commodities. So, here the value of contract will change when the value of these underlying assets is changing. So, that's a derivative. And futures is one of the types of derivatives. We have forwards, futures, options, swaps. Ye sub derivatives ke types hai. Futures is one of the types and what do we mean by futures? It's basically a standardized contract where you agree to buy or sell certain asset on some specified date at a price agreed to date. Aaj, do parties ke beech agreement ho raha hai ki hum is asset ko itne mein sell karenge ya is asset ko itne mein khari denge is date pe at a price jo aap aaj hi agree kar rahe ho. So, presently aap contract mein enter kar rahe ho ki itne price mein ye cheez itne ki sell karni ya kharidni hai is future date pe. That's a future. Futures are traded on the stock exchanges. Alright. Now, uh, talking about the futures in this case, it's basically the commodity futures trading which is being talked about. So SEBI has taken the decision to suspend this trading for uh, seven commodities for a year. So why SEBI has taken this decision? SEBI has asked the stock exchanges to not undertake any trading in derivative contracts in these farm commodities. Koi bhi agar naya contract enter karna chata hai in commodities ki futures ki trading karna chata hai to koi bhi naya contract uh, basically execute karne ki permission nahi hai no new contract will be executed will be launched till further orders of SEBI now talking about already running orders kisi ne already futures mein enter kar liya hai to so wo koi nai position nahi le sakta although squaring up of position will be allowed by squaring up, I mean you can exit the position. Like uh, during the intraday trading, what happens if you are buying the asset in the morning? Okay, and by the end of the day, you can sell it. That is squaring of your position, exiting your position. All right. So that is allowed for existing contracts. Otherwise, no new positions can be taken and no new contracts can be executed as far as these seven commodities futures trading is concerned. Why SEBI has done so? The ban has been imposed against the backdrop of increasing inflation. Inflation rate is very high. Like I have discussed in the past 
आ, कुछ सेशंस में भी डिस्कस किया है इन्फ्लेशन बढ़ रही है वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सी पी आई राइजिंग टू फोर पॉइंट नाइन वन परसेंट होल सेल लेवल इन्फ्लेशन राइजिंग टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू थ्री परसेंट सो मेजर रीजन बिहाइंड द राइजिंग इन्फ्लेशन वॉज दी फूड इन्फ्लेशन जो फूड के प्राइजेस बढ़ रहे हैं इट वॉज पॉइंट एट फाइव परसेंट अ मंथ था वो फूड इन्फ्लेशन विच इंक्रीज टू वन पॉइंट एट सेवन परसेंट इन नवम्बर सो फूड के प्राइजेस बढ़ना इन्फ्लेशन बढ़ने का बहुत मेजर रीजन है इन कमोडिटीज के ये जो किचन स्टेपल्स है इनका प्राइस काफी बढ़ रहा है आर बी आई इज टेकिंग लॉट ऑफ स्टेप्स टू कर्ब इन्फ्लेशन ओके देन द फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेप्स आर बींग टेकन द टैक्सेज ऑन द फ्यूल्स वर रिड्यूज ऑन सर्टन फूड कमोडिटीज वर ऑल्सो रिड्यूज बट दे वर नॉट इनफ टू कर्ब द इन्फ्लेशन सो दिस इज अनदर स्टेप विच हैज बीन टेकन ऑन दी सेवीज एंड नाउ फ्यूचर्स एक्ट एज अ गाइड फॉर हेजिंग See, at times people enter into future contract for hedging to protect themselves against the risk. They expect that in future the prices may rise, and or in future the price may fall. So they agree to enter into a contract today. Okay. Other than that, there are people who are using futures for speculative trade as well. They are entering into a contract to buy or sell the commodity at certain price in future. But it might happen that the actual production of that product might not match as per the ट्रेड विच यू आर एंट्रिंग इन टू आपने अग्री कर लिया कि इतने में सेल करेंगे इतने में खरीदेंगे एक्चुअल में उसकी इतनी प्रोडक्शन नहीं हो रही है द डिमांड सप्लाई गैप माइट बी देयर बिकॉज ऑफ विच द प्राइजेस माइट राइज ओके सो दीज आर फ्यू रीजन वाई इन ऑर्डर टू कर्ब इन्फ्लेशन से बी हैज टेकन दिस डिसीजन बाई बैनिंग द फ्यूचर ट्रेड गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू इंसुलेट द प्राइस शॉक दैट वी माइट सी इन द नियर इन द डेज टू कम बिकॉज प्रोडक्शन इज नॉट एट पार सो Futures contracts are halted as a control measure when the prices and the inflation are rising. So, जब prices बढ़ रहे हैं inflation है तब उसको control करने के लिए steps ऐसे से ले लिए जा सकते हैं So, futures trading halt कर दी गई है इसकी ताकि इन commodities के further prices और ना बढ़े So, this was all which I wanted to discuss about this very step of SEBI. Now, coming back to the question. Which of these commodities is not a part of seven agri commodities? So, seven commodities' ki futures trading suspend ki gayi hai, jisme wheat, mustard seeds, crude palm oil, moong ye charo hi aate hain. So, answer is option E that none of the above is not a part of these seven commodities. Okay, so this was all about the first question. Now, let's move on to the next question. It says RBI has decided to make scheduled payment banks and scheduled small finance banks eligible to conduct the government agency business which of the following scheduled private sector banks are the agency banks see rbi acts as the agent of the government to perform various functions and it can further appoint any bank to act as an agent and perform these functions okay so recently sebi uh, recently rbi has notified that not only the scheduled public sector banks and the scheduled private banks but also certain payment banks and small finance banks can now undertake this agency business so this question talks about a finance current and other than that it is also taking us to the rbi website where we should be aware about which public sector banks which private sector banks are allowed to act as the agency banks so as far as this question is concerned all of these four scheduled private sector banks are allowed to act as an agency bank so answer is option e but we must be aware about the concept of agency bank so let's discuss that now by agency business i mean that uh, they will be these banks will be acting as a agent of the rbi and which further acts as the agent of the government to perform certain functions so rbi kuch banks appoint karega jo uske behalf pe गवर्नमेंट का बिजनेस पूरा करेगी गवर्नमेंट ने किसी को पेंशन देनी है या फिर गवर्नमेंट ने कोई टैक्स कलेक्ट करना है तो गवर्नमेंट के बिहाफ पे आरबीआई के ये एजेंट बैंक्स वो काम करेंगे दैट इज द एजेंसी बिजनेस फॉर दैट आरबीआई विल पे सर्टन एजेंसी कमीशन टू दीज बैंक सो आर बी आई कैरीज आउट द बैंकिंग बिजनेस ऑफ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड इट कैन डू सो थ्रू दी एजेंसी बैंक so agency bank will be collecting the state tax the gst the stamp duty paying the pension amount all that will be undertaken by these banks 
Recently on the RBI website it was notified that now the scheduled payment banks and the scheduled small finance banks can conduct this agency business provided that if they want to enter into agency business they have to enter into a agreement with RBI moreover they have to follow all the necessary regulatory framework aisa nahi hona chahiye ki wo PCA framework ke, ke under aaye risk threshold breach kar rahe nahi unhe sare regulatory frameworks properly follow karne hain RBI ke sath agreement karna hai tab bhi wo एजेंसी बिजनेस कर पाएंगे सो स्कड्यू वॉट आर पेमेंट बैंक एंड स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इट इन डिसम्बर डे सिक्स सेशन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दैट सेशन बोथ ऑफ दैम बेसिकली फोकस ऑन द अंडरसर्व अनप्रिवलेज एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द सोसाइटी बट विद ए स्लाइट डिफरेंस लाइक इन केस ऑफ पेमेंट बैंक द क्रेडिट रिस्क इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व और राइट सो यू कैन गो टू दैट सेशन एंड वॉच अबाउट दीज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ बैंक इन डिटेल Now coming to the next question, which says, NPCI International Payments Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Dash to bolster real-time bank account payouts in India. So, if some international payments are to be received in India, to make sure that you receive them in real time quickly, you receive those payments. For that, NPCI's international arm has signed the memorandum of understanding with one of these firms. So that very firm basically deals into the cross currency exchanges, cross border exchanges of the money. So which company is being talked about? It's option B, Western Union. So this Western Union is basically a global leader, which is into cross border, cross currency money movement payment. जो cross border payments करनी है उन सब में ये वेस्टर्न यूनियन डील करती है इसने एमओयू साइन किया है अग्रीमेंट किया है किसके साथ एनपीसीआई की इंटरनेशनल आर्म के साथ जिसे हम कहते हैं एनपीसीआई इंटरनेशनल पेमेंट्स लिमिटेड सो बोथ ऑफ देम हैव एंटर्ड इनटू अ एमओयू इन ऑर्डर टू इम्पोस्टर द रियल टाइम बैंक अकाउंट पे इन इंडिया सो दिस वे द कस्टमर्स इन इंडिया इफ दे वॉन्ट टू इफ दे हैव टू रिसीव एनी इंटरनेशनल मनी ट्रांसफर दे कैन रिसीव दैट इन रियल टाइम इन टू बैंक अकाउंट्स Instantly using UPI ID, so easily, जल्दी से international money आपके account में transfer हो पाएगा इस collaboration के through. This is going to benefit a lot of Indian citizens to receive money from overseas. Foreign से पैसा receive करना इस step से और easy हो जाएगा. Western Union's account payout networks enable payout into billions of accounts, not only into bank but mobile wallet card. So wallets में डालना है, e-wallets में डालना है, bank में पैसा डालना है. Western Union basically एक firm है जो internationally payouts करने में की तरफ work करती है. And it is going, this step is going to benefit the Western Union because India is going to be a huge market for it. So it will help expand its breadth of offerings to ensure customers have options. that they can move the money the way they prefer so this was the news piece which i wanted to discuss now coming to the last question it says paytm has launched dash which is a tech powered educational platform allowing the users to learn trading and financial concepts at their own pace at their level of comfort so recently paytm has launched a new platform basically you can say it's a e learning platform which is making use of technology rendering you the education in the field of finance related to trading so trading and financial concepts if you want to brush them up or if you are not aware about them and you want to learn them then this very platform is the solution for you so ek tarah se ye ek e learning platform paytm ne shuru kiya hai jisse ki aap ट्रेडिंग और फाइनेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट्स की अपनी नॉलेज अपग्रेड कर सकते हो और अगर आपके पास नॉलेज नहीं है तो आप कोर्स लेके वो नॉलेज गेन कर सकते हो एंड ऑल दिस विल बी अवेलेबल एट योर ओन पेस एट योर लेवल ऑफ कंफर्ट सी देयर आर पीपल हु आर अवेयर अबाउट द बेसिक्स देन देयर आर पीपल हु हैव सम इंटरमीडिएट नॉलेज अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड देयर आर अदर पीपल एज वेल हु आर थरो इन दिस वेरी एरिया बट Despite of that, various changes continue to take place in the economy. You need to change with the changing times. So, for experts also, there are courses which will keep them upgraded, which will keep them basically updated about all the new changes that are happening. So, in uh, such a fashion, the courses have been designed. जिसको कोई knowledge नहीं है वो basic course ले सकता है. जिसे लगता है उनको basic knowledge है, those who think that they have the basic knowledge, they can give a test. 
if they score good that means they have the basic knowledge so they can take a higher level course then जो भी एक्सपर्ट्स हैं उस एरिया में उनके लिए भी कुछ कोर्सेज हैं जो उन्हें अपडेटेड रखेंगे अबाउट वट एवर एडवांसमेंट्स दैट आर हैपनिंग सो ऐसा एक एजुकेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म पेटीएम ने लॉन्च किया है वट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट प्लेटफॉर्म इट्स पेटीएम वेल्थ अकेडमी सो दी आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी दिस प्लेटफॉर्म हैज बीन लॉन्च ऑन पेटीएम ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग एप पेटीएम मनी पेटीएम मनी इज द वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट एप ऑफ पेटीएम सो यहीं पे पेटीएम वेल्थ अकेडमी भी स्टार्ट की गई है वॉट ऑल आई वॉट ऑल बेसिकली विल बी कवर्ड अंडर दिस अकेडमी इट विल बी ऑफरिंग द ट्रेडिंग एंड फाइनेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड कोर्सेज ओके सो अ कैटलॉग ऑफ कोर्सेज इज देयर सिर्फ कोर्सेज ही नहीं ऑफर किए जाएंगे वेबिनार्स भी कंडक्ट किए जाएंगे विच विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग यू अ लॉट ऑफ नॉलेज विद अ लॉट ऑफ इंसाइट्स रिलेटेड टू ट्रेडिंग एंड फाइनेंस सो अदर देन कोर्सेज यू ऑल्सो हैव सम वेबिनार्स बींग ऑर्गेनाइज ओवर है फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम okay this will allow new traders to establish ground level understanding and the experienced traders to stay updated now you all have taken suppose you have taken this course where you are preparing for rbi okay here we have a, a section called finance theory so you have suppose you have studied the entire thing you are thorough with the basic financial concepts but despite of that you are watching the rbi finance current affairs session you are going through the finance current pdfs why that is in order to stay updated with the advancements that are happening aapne pca framework ka basic concept pad liya tha iske baad rbi ne revised framework nikala pehle pca se banks ke liye tha earlier it was just for banks recently pca framework has been launched for nbfcs as well so if you are going through the finance current affairs sessions then you would be aware about these advancements so for experienced traders Paytm has launched certain courses which will help them to stay updated with all the advancements that are happening. Okay, any terminologies, keywords that they are using, they have hyperlinked them in order to take you to a shorter explanation of that topic. Stock investing, futures options, technical analysis, in sub related courses, in their platform may available here. At the end of each course, you have a test. If you clear that test, you will be given a certification as well. Now. Apart from this, webinars will also be conducted. Okay, from the experienced people, they will be mentoring you, training you, and this is not absolutely for free. They are there is a subscription fee which is charged. So for rupees twelve hundred, one year subscription is available for the courses. If you want the courses as well as the webinars, then the fee is forty five hundred. Even if you are not taking the courses, you want to attend the webinars, then. Uh, or if you have taken a course just the course subscription and you want to attend certain webinars then individually also you can pay and uh, watch those webinars so once you will get onboarded one week free trial for all courses will be available to you so you can assess if the things are good if you should take up this course or not now what will be the benefit see it will help in developing the understanding of the financial concepts you will be aware about how the financial things work how the trading happens and this will make you more better traders to stay in the long term market so ye basically financial field mein logo ko training denge aapko develop karenge aapko trading sikhayenge so all that will contribute to the financial markets also it will be beneficial for the paytm because paytm has paytm money platform so there you there the these trained people will then start using their paytm money platform so they are the potential customers the near future customers so that's why paytm has launched this in order to benefit itself as well so this was all for today's session with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much